You should. <laughs> All right. I think, I think we're probably live now. Problem. So here we go. Let's get started. The following podcast may be explicit. One Joe Young presents Adventures from the Shed, a tabletop RPG podcast. You can find us online at adventuresfromtheshed.com. Yes, you can find us online at adventuresfromtheshed.com. You can also find us here today on YouTube. And here we go. Um, we're here in the shed. First live video. Well, not really the first live video, but the first video we're doing live as part of doing live video on Adventures from the Shed. Definitely the first commentary of a, a previous episode. That's right. Today we are going to, as you can see above your, your heads there, um, we're going to be reacting to our own episode, which, for those who are listening now, if you happen to be listening live or catch us live, or for that matter, just before 2 o'clock today, you're going to hear the final episode before people in our audio uh, stream hear it, because that final episode doesn't go up until 2 o'clock today. You're going to be able to hear most of it while we talk over it. Who's here in the shed today? That's interesting. I didn't know that you were okay. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was a little teaser, maybe. Yeah. See if we can get people to listen. So but we're going to talk over people. All the, we're going to talk over all the important parts. We'll try. Maybe. Uh, this is Chris. That's Chris. See, that's, that's Chris. Oh God, it's from my And who's the best looking bald man in the shed today? Best looking bald man in the shed. <laughs> and who's the best looking blond man in the shed today? <laughs> and this is Kurt. Uh, right. I've got a real challenge today, Joe, because yeah. uh, I watched the Taylor Swift Reputation Tour special on Netflix last night with Seriously? my ten-year-old. I watched that like two weeks ago. Yeah, and uh, yeah. I think it's fair to say that I've got a little Tay Tay in my head it. today. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> if I just start breaking it? into <laughs> into song today, yeah, it just was, shut me down. I tell you, interestingly enough. I thought that was pretty cool. The 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 whole idea of the showing behind the scenes concert and um, I thought those those were really nice. The reputation tour special that was like what two hours? Two hours yeah. and six minutes. That's a lot of, a lot of Taylor. <laughs> Both times it was exactly that long. We also have that guy with us today, Mr. Cthulhu. Kurt, Kurt you, you have the voice of Cthulhu, don't you? Sometimes I do want Joe Young. <laughs> Sometimes I come to go. devour your soul. Um, all right, and I have to, I actually have some little clever things I'm gonna try you here. So like this is uh, that's Mr. Chris. You see, that's Chris. Oh, hey. <laughs> yeah, he is. He is. He, I say that because the other person here is. What is mine um, gonna say? AFTS pervert. The original. Oh, the original. Yeah, you should say noob on it, bro. Yeah, well, it, could, it should say newbie. <laughs> and then uh, of course for mine is just boring. I'm just the host. Uh -huh. So the host with the most Joe. The host with the I, most. I have the most Joe for sure. <laughs> Um, is that moist or most? The moist Joe. The, most of the moist oh, Joe. Oh, that's, that's an image I'm not sure I needed in my mind. I don't, I don't get it. might be true for today. today. Um, so what we're going to have here shortly is we're going to play the full, well, almost all, of the A New Frontier final episode. And in the final episode, we did some uh, resolution of, of at least the main story. I was just trying to think about, I, I don't know that we resolved a whole lot more than just the main plot line. There's a whole lot of other stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, I mean, we threw uh, in uh, things that could have gone sideways, and then we just didn't go anywhere with them. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Was there any part of it that you thought we we should have addressed, Kurt? No, I mean, I think, you know, we try to keep it focused and have kind of a set number of episodes, rel you know, roughly, what, 30, 35 episodes per campaign. Yeah, to be honest, I'm not sure what number this one was. I was going to wonder what was yeah. the final count. I mean, I, mean, I guess technically 30? I could look on here. Um, the number was 31. Oh, that's at the title of that window. It's 31. Well, you know, in Parent DC, there could be a spin off series at any given moment. Yes, so. there already was. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> I mean, we it's have this a... really flaky dru druid who just <laughs> kind of shows up. Every now and then, I mean, Druids be flaky. there could be a whole Speaking of, other adventure Speaking of, Druid her. is actually in this episode. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to get it started, and um, we can make our comments <laughs> over top of it. May be explicit. One Joe Young presents Adventures Adventure from the Shed, the Shed a tabletop RPG, RPG podcast. I can do this guy's voice. I can. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> the mellifluous tones yeah. of the One Joe Young. Parandisi, we want to thank our regulars, Kurt and Chris, and special thanks to our guests for joining us for A New Frontier. Oh, man. Thank you to Bridget, Kelly, and Mike. We look forward to seeing you again. Enjoy the podcast. Hi. Hi, and welcome to the shed. So, yeah, we had, um, for that one throughout, um, Kurt was on and off, actually. Um, missed a few days, but we also had Kelly on and off, and Bridget on and then off. She didn't turn back on. <laughs> yeah. um, Mike was there for the whole thing as well. That's right. We'll get right back into it. Who's first here? Yeah. It's Chris. I'm playing 
Introductions, you can talk over it. I was going to say, it was a little challenging in terms of personal issues with folks going on and other things, but I think we held it together. I am a dangerous I would like to think we mostly held it together, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, this is Kelly. I'm playing Trillium the Druid. This is Kurt. I am playing Breton. Kurt, whose microphone is always wrong to start. <laughs> it does get adjusted. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a little weird. became a cloud at the end of the episode. See? Uh, and I am Laramie Burns, Steel, Pal and Joe. And there's Mike. Jojo. Yes, yeah, so almost every episode, I, I'm telling Kurt, talk. move your Joe mic, move it closer, further, closer. Uh, quick you would think I would learn. Uh, nope. The, I have uh, determined the you don't. <laughs> it's okay. The treasury and found some of the, well, all of the stones that were missing from the Cathedral of Josiah. Uh, the players staged an ambush for the next time that the uh, the figures returned. When the figures returned, they were kind of animated. Cloaks. Isn't it great that when you're listening, you don't look at anything in particular? Mm -hmm. Just kind of look off in the distance. Mm -hmm. And that was from the church. They found behind that group was Drummond. He was actually holding a staff, orchestrating the whole... People might need the recap. That's why I'm trying to be quiet. Uh, yeah, screw the recap. <laughs> and I could yeah, just, do a, well, just do a routine here. Yeah, you, you sure could. Pose down. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Uriel, or the artist formerly known as Uriel. I also need the recap. That's why I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He put his sword out as well. <laughs> and then um, Laramie was uh, uh, taken off of Drummond and put in, into the same magical net in midair. And uh, Drummond has retreated back towards the wizard and is kind of going nyan nya after pitting disappointment at... Drummond was kind of a dick. Yeah. He's, he's, he did not have a lot of redeeming qualities. No. No. A real jerk. Forward and turned into cloud mist, passed through the magical web. I was about to say that cloud was probably the most consistent character in this campaign, but then I remember that he changed gender every episode. Yeah. Well, that's consistent, though. <laughs> that's true. What does she do next, Kurt? Breton. Right, so, Kurt uh, Breton. Yeah, I'm not sure if we want to be trying to kill Drummond or the wizard at this point. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to pin him down <laughs> and hold it. But I always think torture is an option. Okay. I don't know, but with him, it was just like interrogation, uh, burning to death. Yeah, he was just I mean, yeah. he was out for blood. I mean, maybe the wizard is making that barrier. So I'm trying to remember, this was our third hour from that day, right? Yeah, the, the yeah it was the final episode yeah. that day. The time the um, wizard stopped um, Yo-Yo the Flame Boy, uh, the, his right hand has been up oh, okay. the whole so, time. So he's like okay, holding he that barrier. That. His left hand poofed out the flame sword. His left hand By the way, I had this picture in my head the whole time where I said the um, wizard had his right hand up the whole time. For whatever reason, I had this picture in my head of Jesus like this <laughs> the, whole, the whole time. He's just like, no, stop. Didn't yeah. really back up. It's just there. Well, in that case, um, I think I would have Cloud kind of threaten the wizard. Like, okay. In an intimidation, in the hopes that he would put his hands down to defend himself. Or you don't stop, I'm going to bite you. I really relied on my uh, wolf a lot. <laughs> like, when in doubt, just send Cloud oh, Yeah, you should if you're a ranger, man. Uh, for the wizard's uh, uh, morale. Or oh, and this one you had your um, pop well, reference that I, d I never got just there about what command you used for Cloud to sick somebody. Oh, right. chopper sick balls? Yeah. 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 Right arm Please by <laughs> with her plus four ferocity that she now has. And, and that's what I was going to say. So how would you how would you play that out? Because I'm going to require a roll out of that. Mm -hmm. And we typically don't let the animal, animal companion react or act outside of the ranger. So how would we want to play that out? Yeah. Rather than me just make something up, how do you think it should play out? Well, I mean, we're supposed to, kind of, I think, kind of attack together so that yep. I can use command. Yep. I know that I'm probably not going to be able to get through that barrier unless she knocks I do like it when Joe just makes things up. So if she's able to attack <laughs> I do too. <laughs> then I can also be firing an arrow. My own DMing has gotten a lot better since I just started making things up. <laughs> <laughs> It helps to make for a more cohesive story when you've just made it up, <laughs> oddly enough. That we've never. Well, I'm just making it up. I just like to make it up previously. Yeah. Chomp her sick balls. There it is. Ah, sick balls. Chomp her sick balls. That's what I heard. Now, chopper. chopper. Yeah, if you've not seen Stand By Me, particularly if you have young boys, it doesn't get better than that. Yeah. I'm Arnt. 
Uh, uh, all right. So, so th the idea being, if this is a coordinated attack, then that's what you want to do. It's so rare we have a pop culture reference that all of us get. Yeah, right, so it, it just doesn't. It. Well, it's probably happened once. <laughs> it's probably something I came up. Yeah, we'll because everyone here. knows everything I know. Yeah. We'll do something obvious, and Joe be like, "Yeah, I don't watch Star Wars." <laughs> <laughs> if only. That's one I do watch. So I add its frosting to my damage. <laughs> Anything to the attack. No, unfortunately. This is a brief moment of me actually like playing my character sheet and looking at the mechanics. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I rolled eight plus three dex okay. is eleven. So, um, Cloud, excuse me. So uh, you get the balls. <laughs> then eleven, you get the balls. On the wizard. Nope, shouldn't do that. Full, you know, six yeah, or right. something wizard. Yeah. I want to say, said so it was six, seven or something really tall dude. He's going to be pinning him kind of on up on his chest, but particularly on that right shoulder where, because he was holding okay. his right arm out. So that happens. Um, when you release the arrow, just as it's starting to fly in that direction, that's when the, the web breaks and those who were in motion and held kind of fall. Your oh, yeah. arrow goes through and, and hits the wizard square in the chest. And when that happens, um, Trillium's arrow also resumes its momentum and uh, knocks the wizard's hat off because Cloud moved it, but the arrow she shot knocked its hat off instead of hitting him in the head. Hatless uh, wizard. And Drummond has this look of panic in his eyes and turns to run away. Ooh, Jojo the Flame Boy's going to chase him. <laughs> now, that all would have happened in like four seconds in a movie, but it would look really cool. Yeah. It's WTF. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> and no problem shooting Drummond in the knees. Bring him down, so I can do called shot to like. He's also fast. Remember, Drummond's. Man, I don't sound like I sound in my head, which I know is cliche <laughs> to say, but it is weird. Anybody, it's, anyone's free to act. Because I've been freed from. I'm going to start. Running. I sound a lot more like a cross between Brad Pitt and George Clooney in my head. <laughs> Maybe it's because they're both in your head doing. <laughs> it. pushed back against the wall. He's going to be easy to, to reach. you he's. 15 feet away from your tops. So a couple of long strides and Laramie's there. He's not a short guy either. Laramie burns the... Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to shoot at Drummond. Maybe not like a deadly shot, but some okay. kind of... Slow down. Let you want to know. slow down the dwarf. Okay. Yeah. Let's give a, a, it's just going to be another volley. You pull out another arrow. Got to save the kill for Captain Memory Loss. <laughs> <laughs> because that will reach before even an expedited Uriel. Right, you so mean lieutenant uh, memory loss. You forgot what rank he was. <laughs> an expedited Uriel sounds like something you go to a doctor for. It does. It does. <laughs> they got a shot that'll clear that up. Yeah. Kind of seven, to, seven to ten days. <laughs> uh, and he kind of stumbles Not forward. Again. And as he's stumbling, Uriel does what? Well, I assume he's outside now. No, he, the, the, you got 50 feet to get outside at least. All right, I want to drag him outside. <laughs> just want to grab, grab his hair and drag him. And his beard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he put up a fight, so this is gonna be strength. And it's the um, it's the deadpan anger. I'm gonna drag him outside <laughs> by his beard. Though, really? <laughs> what you got? A niner. Niner. Is are there any options of making? Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Okay. For sure. There must have been a chip on the or two on the table okay. last last episode. <laughs> And he is so concerned with his beard and the pain he's feeling from you dragging his, you know, stocky, I don't know, dwarves weigh like 800 pounds, but you're just dragging him <laughs> along by the beard, right? See, I think it could have been a, I think it could have been a dex check. I mean, if he used a real nice beard oil, it could have been slippery, it could have been a challenge. Yeah, like a, yeah Jeremy might have been one of those guys, beard oil guy. <laughs> grabbing on little things. So he's, he's screaming about the pain in his beard and the pain in his leg and just, uh, uh, he's pretty miserable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um... Laramie, the wizard's there. You've gotta, him gotta him. get his comeuppance. Just as you reach the wizard, Yurio goes fire come down and by, grabs the dwarf by the beard and starts dragging him out. Uh, and you're at the wizard. Yeah, and I'm I'm like, good boy, Cloud. On the head. And then I, good girl. Good girl. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a mist. It's a male mist. Oh, that, yeah. There you uh, go. The Mister. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And then he'll, like, just swing out with his, uh, the butt of his sword and just sort of try to... By, like, episode 25, I think, at the top of my character sheet, I just wrote Cloud with a big F for female after <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. And we still screwed it up. Yeah. Good boy. Oh. <laughs> All right. And I mean, like, a 10-plus 
I can slash here. Well, I don't know if you're going to get that close. No, that's a five on the dice plus right. three is an eight. All right, you might just hurt him and piss him off. So let's deal damage. Okay. Who's he attacking? The wizard? Wizard, yeah. Because yeah. in this case, I mean, he's a pretty Because your boy Cloud was holding him down. Now, he ain't no paladin, but he's pretty sturdy. I don't think I'd be smiting him with a... With a well, how punch. pissed? how pissed is he? Would you be using the power of Josiah in your blow? Because that's the, the idea of the spell. Go, Joe. Because no, if I was, I would just, I would run him through. Okay. I think I'd be just knocking him out here. Okay. <laughs> okay. So just a couple of That's That's uh, four. All right. So you hit him, uh, and the uh, the butt of the sword. Uh, yeah, I just need to start calling on the power of Josiah randomly in my daily life. <laughs> you should. I just, uh, I just need to close this big account today and uh, <laughs> just need a little extra hit. Just make sure you use the word compel in there somewhere, right? Yeah. Because otherwise. I, I compel you. <clears throat> power of Josiah <laughs> compels you to sign this contract. Imposters, what are you doing here? What is uh, Breton Imposters. before we head outside to see what's up? Because Breton just shot hey. an arrow, and now you got seconds have passed. Well, how's he following that up? Yeah, I mean... It's yeah, this wizard was so pissed off, like, you guys aren't supposed to be here. Right. <laughs> right. Well, you weren't. <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to be here today. Yeah. <laughs> That's He's clerk's like, reference. Yeah, 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 I got it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Two! Two! I, I haven't Robert. seen clerks in a long time, although... <clears throat> Uriel is now out of sight. Was it Clerks or Mall Rats that had Shannon Doherty in it? Uh, it wasn't Clerks. It was Mall Rats. And uh, inside, the three of you are with Clerks is early Silent J. And, uh, it was Silent before Bob anybody knew anybody yeah. from that. Yeah. Uriel, give him okay. a back up. So when Breton um, goes to follow you and he reaches the entrance, uh, are you bringing him outside into the snow? Yeah. Okay. So you see Uriel drag him out into the snow, and then what happens? Um, I start flaming, channeling flames into the sky to watch the world burn. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Which Drummond appreciates because he just got some flakes down his butt crack yeah, and really way. chilly. He's a cold fella. Call a firestorm. Tell the GM what you're sacrificing. So I'll obviously do that. Yeah. Uh, the sky opens up and fire pours like rain from it within an area about equal to a small village. Everyone in the <laughs> small <laughs> village. Yeah. I just want to take out one yeah, short guy. <laughs> it would be an awesome end to this episode. Because if Uriel got killed yeah, and then like, <laughs> turned into a phoenix, <laughs> and rose yeah. into a massive like, <laughs> flaming <laughs> phoenix. I was almost going towards that at the end with the whole uh, sacrifice himself, but it didn't work out. Uriel rising. Yeah. That's another thing you'd probably get a pill for. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> but if it stays up for more than four hours, you have to consult a physician. <laughs> yes, definitely. Uh, Brett, excuse me. It's what Breton sees. Clearly, I was tired. <laughs> Go ahead. What do you think you want to sacrifice? Uh, I already sacrificed. I your want to name. sacrifice that I don't remember my name, so you get it back. <gasps> <laughs> <clears throat> I forgot that I forgot something. Something important. Perhaps an organ. <laughs> <laughs> Have a kidney. <laughs> forgot that I had lungs. I can't breathe. Something. In order for it to be a sacrifice. <laughs> you should have had to give in your left nut. <laughs> because last time I sacrificed uh information. Just take the wizard to that cloud, took that. Symbols and all that stuff mm -hmm. about the magic weapon and all that. <clears throat> uh, if you want, I can just come up with one. It's going to be... I crazy. had something in mind. Do it, because I have an idea, but I, it's almost too crazy. But Okay. Um, what you... I'm trying to remember what my idea was. This time is um, any memory of blacksmithing. Yeah. Here, <laughs> Kelly's gasp. Yeah. <laughs> God. But that's what your character is. <laughs> exactly. It's the last episode. Yeah, last time, like your arm was blackening and all this stuff. Yeah. Can you describe it again. Yeah. So when I start channeling it into the uh, sky, you know, I've determined get, like, <clears> this is too much tea. <laughs> <laughs> I was mentioning to Chris earlier, I'm getting it. I, I'm at the tail end of something that started bugging me on Friday. And I decided I would make myself some tea. This is three tea bags and hot water and a little bit of honey and some sugar and some lemon. I, I only like about four ounces of tea, apparently. And then, and then it just starts, yeah. It basically not, not 30. I did. I tree bagged myself. Starts dropping down on top of that. And uh, it's really hot, Brett. Yeah. However, the horrible joke yeah. I said earlier, I repeat I now that we're on the air, this is guys. my cup of tea. And, <laughs> and others inside start to feel heat coming from the tunnel. Yeah, it's behind there. Like a uh, blast furnace kind of heat coming from the outside. 
I did tell yeah, him my eyes get real red day like day fire. So, Joe, when you're DMing a final episode, are you sad inside? <clears throat> a little bit. <laughs> Mostly because I'm thinking, what the hell am I doing next? <laughs> we can just throw that off on one of us. <laughs> Turns out I'll just turn the camera on and just talk about it. <laughs> How's that? He's really angry. And there's an energy that hums off of him and everyone that's near to him, you're just kind of pushed back with the amount of energy and it's like irresistible. You're pushed back from him. What do you do? Fight the power. Fight the power. <clears throat> Fight the power is that be? <laughs> the um, irresistible <laughs> wizard meets the immovable paladin. I want to like, like press my body through it so I can get okay. as close enough to like stab him. Okay. Breton, as you come back in, it's only 50 feet, so you get back in close enough, um, and you see it's almost like a blue, almost tangible ball of energy around the wizard, pushing back those that were there. Um, the wizard has one big blue ball that you're trying to get into. <laughs> it's like the shield generators in Dune, you got a real slow to get cast. Yeah. <clears throat> Still not sure we want to kill the wizard. And you know, I'm going to ask you two, Trillium, so you'll be thinking right. in the meantime. Yeah, I'm thinking. Um, I'm thinking. Right, because I mean, well, you, do you think you can get any information out of him? Do you think. I'm mean, just thinking this like, I really am not a murder hobo or her. I'm always trying to do something else before yeah. I kill him. We could kind of talk to him when he's dead, still. We have that option yeah. available. <laughs> I uh, talk to him all day long if you want. So, talk to him all day long. I was just trying to be tactical about it. This guy's going to waste us if we let him keep doing things. Yeah. Yeah, that seems that's, on par with Yeah, and he almost brought the house down. Right? Oh, he did. He brought it down. You guys just happened to survive it. I'm going to do a called shot on the wizard. Okay. Um, that's, I guess that's a spoiler. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Yeah. So when I attack a defenseless or surprise enemy at range, I can choose to deal my damage in certain ways. I'm yeah. trying to do the, uh, Should have said spoiler alert way so, earlier. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll go ahead. They do nothing yeah. but stand and drool for a few moments. And just so you know, it's kind of like what I did with um, Laramie and knocking him out. I'm going to call a little bit of a technicality uh -huh. in that you have to get a 10 plus for it to work. Because technically, he's not defensive. He has an orb oh of energy around him. Right. However, you're, you you're going That's for fine. the unexpected yeah. shot. That's all right. I got plus three on my decks. So it will have to be a 10 plus. <laughs> That's all right. I got this covered. <laughs> How about that? Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> good enough. All right. So the arrow bounces off the ball. <clears throat> his blue ball and was then... too strong for me. <laughs> for your arrow, you could not penetrate his blue ball. Okay, so Uriel is outside. The entirety of this podcast may be explicit. Fire storm. Yeah. It's very you, you, or at least laced with innuendo. Thunderous noises and feel the heat. You just don't, from where you guys are, where the wizard is, you don't see it. Okay. Uh, so Uriel is out there. I don't know that it's raining fire. <laughs> Uriel is outside, That's dividing well. by zero. <laughs> he is. <laughs> yeah. okay. He has just put a dimensional pocket into a black hole. <laughs> yeah. Kelly has a great podcast voice. Yeah. It's funny because she doesn't think she. No. Nope. You know, she's like, oh, I hate being recorded. No. Nah. No, when I heard, she told me one time, one thing that I do agree with, depending on how she's talking and, and the um, the pattern of her voice, she thinks she can sound like a valley girl. And right. that's true sometimes, but it's not her voice, it's that pattern. Yeah. Right? So. Pretty much. Like, yeah. you guys seem like you got it going on. Yeah. I'm going to peek out here, see what Uriel's doing. We got doing, it going on. And... Okay. Now, it's like a George Clooney and Brad Pitt in your head. <laughs> Just let you you get to the point where you can walk and look outside. Okay. And um, uh, when you get out there, Uriel's standing with his fist clenched around some beard hair. <laughs> charred remains of something. Yeah. He's calling on Cthulhu. <laughs> you did well with your role on the firestorm. So Burn the beard. <laughs> yeah, but I want to make sure he's just uh, he's complete ash. Oh okay. yeah. Well, <laughs> close enough to ash. Yeah. How about that? Okay. So can I just... Scorched earth. Uriel. Yeah. Scorched earth. Uriel. Swallow the beard. Okay. Yeah. Wait, Uriel. Um, hey, you. Fireboy. Tank. Hey, you. Fireboy. Tank. He's, his arms are just black and his eyes are like flaming, you know. Okay. Yeah. I his, want hair, Uriel, his hair is almost like I want flaming. Uriel to interact with the wizard a little bit. Because someone Aww. tells me that uh, there's something going on. He's got some. He's got magic against blue balls. In the meantime, Laramie, let's do a strength roll to see how how 
if you can get past the wizard's blue ball. <laughs> <laughs> wizard's blue ball? One blue ball uh, of energy. Just one. Just one. We are so sophisticated in our humor. Oh, yeah, totally. yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Um it's it's like as much as you can push forward, <coughs> it pushes back. But he doesn't stop trying. He uh, uh yeah. It, and and the wizard is just it's uh, I can do this, so I think it's funny. Steam coming off of that spot that you <laughs> cut on his uh, chin. The the blood that's come <laughs> off into his beard. If only Mickey were here. Oh, uh, it wouldn't be those. It would, uh, blah, 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 done. It wouldn't be as sophisticated. It would just be <laughs> dirty humor. And then not good. <laughs> Miss you, Mickey. Not the way that Yuri would boil his blood. Yeah. Breton, you're there. Your arrow bounced off his yeah. big blue ball. What else you want to try? <laughs> the ball is his here. big blue yeah, ball. I mean, cloud is perfect for distraction, right? Yeah, how so? I think we also had about 18 well, pieces of pizza each right before this episode. Oh my gosh. So, as I, I recall, there that. might have been a little bit of a food coma happening. Oh, uh, yeah. A little bit of a delayed reaction from Breton. He's, gonna He's like, oh, food. Hawaiian <laughs> pizza. <laughs> the pauses in this epi- episode brought to you by Papa John's. A little bit hot pineapple. Who was it? Was it you that <clears throat> didn't? Who is it that didn't like the hot pineapple? Yeah, shut up. <laughs> hot pineapple sucks. Maybe you had to chant put that. Put in the hot pineapple. Oh yeah, <laughs> thank you, <laughs> thank you very much. Okay. So, so you know, we had. Um, <clears throat> I was listening to someone the other day who was saying his favorite pizza was pi- pepperoni, pineapple, and jalapenos. Oh my! And I was like, ooh, good. that sounds really yeah. good. Jalapeno and right. pineapple go together really mm-hmm. well, actually. Um, I'm going to speak to those stones again. And see. The sidewall pizza, there's a Hawaiian, which hala- they, uh, they call it spicy Hawaiian, and it's like the Canadian bacon or ham, yeah. pineapples, and jalapenos. So this is just subbing out the pepperoni for that. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> Science is proven. It's on the internet now. Science is proven that Joe sucks. <laughs> oh, man, I tossed that into the flat earth society pile. At the same time, I picture you like, walking past me trying to fight to this wizard, and you're just like, Hold on a sec. I'm getting right right getting stoned with these rocks over here. <laughs> 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 I, 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 could, hey. I could see it though. I could actually hey, see it. Getting this. stoned yeah. means speaking to stones, by the way. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was gonna say there's a pause, possibility of five to ten minutes of drug reference humor, <laughs> humor now. The well-being of the party. Well, I don't. I don't feel like they I'm gonna be well excuses, very often they? here. <laughs> The druid doesn't show up from time um, to time because she's been out in yeah, rehab, but it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I want to check in on the stones and see if they can offer. I keep, I keep. Sort of like, hey, can you help up, help us with this power, this magic, this wizard, this what's going on here? So, yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of the buzz is worn off. I didn't know it would wear off so fast. But the whole Josia thing. I forget we were communing with the uh, stones. Yeah. <laughs> that went on for, I want to say, three or four episodes. Yeah. From the first time she talked to the rocks at the cathedral Maybe that would piss to off. the final episode. Josia doesn't go away. Yeah, because they're trying to dismantle it. Because that's what I was part of. Me, and this guy, and that guy, and that guy, and that guy. If rocks could point, he'd point to it. <laughs> I feel like the stones were very uh, Jim Henson-esque with their attitude. You know? ah. It just reminds me of something I would see in the... Yeah. Jim Henson. The wizard doesn't want Josie. They reminded of me of... That. That's an influence um, on me. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Crush from uh, Finding Nemo, the turtle. Oh, okay, yeah. Hey, man. Yeah. <laughs> more a more, uh, teenage version of Crush, probably. Um, California. Yeah. I think it's supposed to be time for that guy to go away. Uh, which is kind of a bummer, being part of that. These stones just want to go surf. They do. Exactly. That's what I thought yeah. the whole time. Yeah. Uh, if you find a way for Josia to hang out, like maybe if there was a powerful ally of Josia around or something. <laughs> hint, hint. Yeah, that, that it's called a clue. Uh-oh. I'm just passing <laughs> <to class. laughs> um, So yeah, man. Okay, thanks. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, rock on. Yeah, rock on. Thanks. Rock on. Um, that's, that should have been the standard greeting. In <laughs> rock on. Song. And yeah, Joe, on. but not really. I mean, um, yeah, go Joe. Cool. I, I don't mind being part of the cathedral. <laughs> it's cool. Okay. 
So our um, our helpful paladin here. I'm relaying all this to him. <laughs> see, see her shouting back down. I'm the a hall. little busy right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, this would affect you though, knowing that yeah. just Josiah or Josia. Josiah. I mean, uh, nobody ever said it the same no. every episode. I, I don't believe that that is true. Mike was remarkably <laughs> consistent with his uh, accent. His he was. Accent. He was. So, he does not subscribe to the it was concept. impressive. <laughs> so I, I will, you, you were uh, remarkably uh, consistent with copying yeah, as well. <laughs> Most of the time unintentionally. Yeah. Now, um, we gotta get that staff. Yeah. That's, what, That's she what she said. Oh man, Joe, we're like, we're like two peas in a pod. <laughs> I'll be Brad Pitt. Who's gonna do it? And how are you gonna? Have do I told you about my thirteen-year-old who who loves the "That's what she said" jokes, uh, yeah. but says it for things that's that like true. don't make any sense at all? I think that's awesome. Thing. That's where we can be the I'll most be like, funny. I'd be like, oh, I really need some butter out of the refrigerator, and he'll be like, yeah, that's what she said. And I'll be like, <laughs> that's what she said. That's amazing. Right. Anyone want to go to Big Air Friday night? That's what she said. <laughs> That's a good one, actually. I like that. How is my self-most ways that Cloud, as the wolf that I've pictured in my head, would be acting to this, like scratching at it, trying to bite it, lick it, trying to figure out... How to <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> I mean, it is my dog. I so. think we're talking <laughs> over an important What's part, perhaps. <laughs> And Uriel is on his way in. I see Uriel probably still steaming. You were Uriel that time. Okay. Uriel. Yeah. And it's not That's a, the mermaid version of yeah, Uriel. Right, yeah. Uriel. It heated up in this tunnel. He just wants to be part of your world. Yeah. Uh, and where's the staff? Is he's got a flaming dingle hopper. <laughs> dingle within hoppers. Feet of where you guys are. Yeah. Within, within a bob? I've got 20. <laughs> 20. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> Could we use the staff against the wizard? It's Maybe. just a levitation staff, so I mean, you can move around. Probably. Why you got to rain on her parade, man? <laughs> hey, man, got to be consistent. Just collapse the whole tunnel on top of the wizard. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because <laughs> yeah, did we did we start the problem in the collapse or is it the wizard? I mean, yes. Just tell everybody to leave, and you just dump the whole place on top. I mean, that's my kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Do we want to return the stones to the yes. cathedral? <laughs> yeah. you can always open, but you could always open up another passageway to get to the stones. Let's levitate the stones out of the um, out of the opening or whatever. Like levitate the stones outside, and then collapse the whole thing on the wizard, just like you said. We got and then take a little while. Yeah, yeah. that's going to take me. He, he, he could yeah. be a. What was, I'm blanking on that. What was Kelly's character's name? Yeah. Trillium. Yeah, Trillium. I don't know. I appreciate I Trillium's concern about the stones. The stones. Mm. The energy since. Well, she spent some time by. getting stoned with them. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, him. Okay. Rock on. Passageway. You got two people, three. It's you know. been big enough for whatever it needs yeah, so okay. far. <laughs> that's I mean, what like she said. Get, yeah, well, we don't worry about it. Joe has a one track mind. I don't get it. Yeah. Very chunky. And I don't know what the right weight would be, but they're like three. If that track is horrible jokes, I agree. <laughs> okay. Um, you need a lot of Egyptians to move them. I'm deciding, can I get another shot to try to get through there? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, right. go for it. I'm up for it. Come on. Because I just see you start yeah. beads of sweat on Larry yep. said, while the wizard's really just building up energy. Oh, that's a 10 on the dice, plus three is 13. Okay. Nice. So that's a good roll. We can do the math. We did. On the wizard. Mm. My favorite is when we're at the table. <clears throat> when it comes to the, the dice and the math thing, is when somebody rolls, says the wrong number, but it was still good enough anyway, right. and nobody even notices. <laughs> it's like eight plus three. That's ten. Good enough. <laughs> It's like, yeah, it's true. It is good enough. It was 11, but it's still good enough. Right. Or is it just like they're saying, like, oh, that's a 10 or higher? <laughs> would, be, would be nice. <laughs> you a burning brand, but I'm going to do the From Hell's Heart version of it. Oh, oh yeah. that again. The soul burn. If you summon fire with any of your moves, you can replace it with the black fires of hell itself. This fire can burn with heat and ignores armor, scorching the soul itself. Yeah. Well, that's nasty. Burned so good. Yeah. Nine. 
times. Yeah, Uriel barely ever pulled a punch. I'm pretty sure everything was balls uh, yeah, out. Try, yeah, well, I want to blame as the hothead. Yeah. <laughs> we could have done a background soundtrack for Uriel. I mean, there's so many songs. We could have had like Burning Heart from Rocky mm -hmm. IV, Hearts on Fire. Mm -hmm. like, I burn for you. Disco Inferno. <laughs> we didn't build the fire. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dark blade, yeah. I actually it's think I would have loved to have been playing Disco Inferno yeah, while you were yeah. calling on the, uh, the heavens to rain down fire on the size of a village in a disco. Yeah, yeah. We could have used uh, a mirror ball with flames uh, shooting out of it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Actually. Burn, baby, burn. I mean, you still can. can't get through, but I guess I have to to kind of well, make The it last work. time you did this, it did work. Let um, the games be king. With the whole cloud, cloud, <laughs> right. and the arrow flying. Right. Yeah, so I think I would do. I mean, I think I would do the same thing again. Okay. So, so I guess I. So what is the attack command again? Uh, <laughs> Unleash hell. Yeah, it's just a volley. <laughs> no, no. What is your attack chopper command? Chopper balls. Oh, chopper sick balls. <laughs> Which isn't really, but it just seemed funny when I said it. So <laughs> it just seems say, funny. It really is, How many times is that true in the podcast? <laughs> it just seemed funny when I said it. <laughs> so just, you're sitting in a bar talking to somebody. And, and, and yeah, and you're getting along with this, this nice lady you're talking to, and you say, you go, girl. What does Cloud do? <laughs> you ruin a lot of relationships. <laughs> I'd be a little aggressive sometimes. But she's really, but she's really stubborn. She's really cute. Yeah. So people sometimes forget her. No, I can't. Uh, seven on the dice, that'd be ten. Ten? No. Oh. So that will get you. Um, what do you do? It's like so many things in my life. Volley with the called shot. You're just going to shoot. Well, it, it no longer would be a called shot because the wizard now really knows you're there yeah, and that just, you're attacking. Just no I think the expression my wife has probably used more during our marriage than any other is really? Friends. Question mark? Really? <laughs> really? 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 Oh, really? The thing that was happening to Laramie. Cloud gets right How many times is that responded to with? Mist, yeah. <laughs> right before the wizard. <laughs> she knew what she was getting into when she married me. <laughs> but everyone, you're like mm -hmm. right there. It's like just waiting for one last thing to break through. What? Uh, what's the druid doing? Like a sword of pure evil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a sword of pure evil. Just waiting for that. I mean, so with this blue ball this blue energy ball we're just kind of beasting it with our strength like so far yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, energy. a little bit of trickery from uh cloud yeah. it's not necessarily <laughs> strength it's just i can poof through it right. the animals okay. being tricky right. not the humans <laughs> no <laughs> humans are just beast <laughs> mode <laughs> hit ball make ball break i'm gonna blow some smoke at him hey man it's interesting when you get kind of stunk to think about the difference between like dungeon world and D, &D. you know because in D, D you usually have i mean not that you can't be creative but you have to have a set universe of moves that you can do and that the opponent can do whereas exactly. in dungeon world just like what the hell do we have to do yep. in D, D, if you're trying to stop someone from doing something you're probably just trying to kill them and that's the straightforward answer and if there's a puzzle then it's a dc check against some skill right yeah. covered with bird crap it's the only thing that gets through the energy barrier. I kind of want to, like, if we're kind of using our own like, strength, you know, like, because I don't know what else I can Seems funny when like, I said it. Use what is the druid. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I don't have any magic, really, abilities to... Nobody else is using magic. Yeah, that's what I mean. I'm to think <laughs> like, I that's not an excuse. That. Um, Plus, she has lots of magical abilities. The roof, the cave roof over his head. Elemental mastery. To be on our That's what I was thinking. That's my idea. Yeah. Did I have an idea? <laughs> God. Turn it all goes bad. Having the kind of just, <laughs> just tear it all down. <laughs> Hold on, but Kurt had an idea. Everyone save versus death. <laughs> what do you use to make that happen? Um, that's gonna be. <laughs> Remember when it used to be a saving throw in D and D? Save versus death. Yep. What? <laughs> <laughs> there were a couple yeah. things like that. Yeah. Um, monsters that were just, they hit you, they kill you. Read it out. I can't remember the whole Vorpal sword, so that just chopped off heads, right? Yeah. When you yeah, call yeah. the primal spirits, there's no save versus chopped off head. Perform a task for you, roll plus you just gotta not get hit. On a 10, choose two. Uh, so 
Basically, the result is the effect you desire comes to pass. You avoid paying nature's price, and you retain control. But you can only pick, at best, you can only pick two of those things. Right. Right. And at so worst. Always um, something could happen. First, you'll kill three of us. A catastrophe occurs. <laughs> As a result. Get off war. Oh, no. Get off war. Five if you come with me. I don't know. That would work. That would work. I wish you just got off and talked to the box. Kelly would have thought it was cool yeah, if everyone else died. Nah, she probably would have felt bad. Well, yeah, but cool. And feeling bad, right? It's cool that it happened. It sucks it was you guys. <laughs> I just want to make sure, in case it was a trophy or something. <laughs> Here we go. Make a braid out of it. Oh, wow. Make a braid out of it. Sweet. Oh. <laughs> so that's nine. Oh, yeah. Build a bridge out of it. Yeah. Are there uh, any chips three. around on the table? Yeah. Yeah, get the that's chip. one. Do I get the chip in there? Sorry. Oh, yay. Okay, so ten. <laughs> Comes to pass. I can't think of uh, <laughs> Elemental Master. I think about true karma. Uh, yeah. Ending up. Yeah. Into the chasm of death. Yeah, that was fun stuff. Almost killing uh, Winona, Wylena, Wylena, Wylena. Out of the schoolgirl elf. See, we've got your, your tag along elf minstrel. You avoid paying nature's price, and you retain control. How about we do? Um, I don't know what nature's price would be. I get to tell. I get to tell you that. Uh-huh. I get to tell the one you don't. Magic know. always has a price. Yeah. Oh, that was. It's so pricey. One to me, but I mean, you to could choose. Do, yeah. Yeah. The nature's price. That's one. what I was gonna go for, and then retain control. Because if you joke. don't retain control, it's you're gonna collapse the whole tunnel. <laughs> what I like. <laughs> that was my plan the whole. Time. <laughs> when when these moves are happening, and everyone else at the table is saying what all the bad stuff would be, I'm like, cool. I don't have to think of it. An ultimate point of the adventure, which yeah. means the price is going to be pretty damn big. I'm good either way. If we get, if we all get dumped on, that's fine. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm good with it. Now. Uh, right. Name anymore, I'm good. I'm good. So, I'm a name anymore, I'm, I'm nobody. <laughs> I don't know who I am, what I'm doing here. I'm comfortable with my complete and utter destruction. I'm not even a blacksmith anymore. I don't know why I have a scorched dwarf beard in my hand. <laughs> yeah. Do you think you even minded that you weren't a blacksmith, or did you just not even remember that you were? No, you never, you never knew. Collapsing. Who uh, are you going to try to get out? Mm-hmm. Because it's clear mm-hmm. that as soon as it starts collapsing, it is collapsing more than what she intended. So what did she pick for her cost? So if you're gonna try and get out, tell me how. Um, to get out. I don't remember now. Yeah, here. Probably didn't retain control. Would be my guess. Um, I'm gonna put the dragon scale shield over my head. Yeah. And then move toward the exit. You're never in control in this dark black universe. <laughs> I'm in control. Right. Okay. <laughs> ah, I love you. Yep. <laughs> Plus three is it? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say you make it out, but on the way out you're gonna lose half your hit points. That's fine. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, <clears throat> I guess I would be running, trying to use dexterities again, zagging. Okay. Oh yeah, I came up with a mechanic on the fly. I gave everyone a 50-50 shot at getting out, and if you got out, you lost half your hit points. If you didn't get out, you were gonna die. I think everyone got out. Uh, go mm-hmm. for it. Give me a uh, defy danger. We were we were rolling well. Uh, we had a lot of uh, yeah, on the eight last, points. Yeah. We had a lot of plus threes. <laughs> Well, I'll give you the same result then. You make it out, lose half your hit points. Okay. Oh, Uriel? No. That's like the biggest hit we've ever taken, I think. Big one, yeah. I want to hold the wizard there. I want to pin him down, make sure he can't leave. Oh. Are you sacrificing yourself? Because, I mean, part of this is I'm going to have the ability to follow through it a little bit. So that's why I want to put she's, she needs to. She's maintaining some semblance of control right. while it's going out of control. But I want him getting away. Okay. Mm-hmm. Are you, so you're fine. just going to hang out there? Yeah. Okay. Um, the ceiling's collapsing. <laughs> it's like Indiana Jones. It's like the opening of the tunnel collapsing. <laughs> what are you doing? So Get out of shout, there. Yeah, shout at him. Uh, flame boy. Get out. <laughs> what are you doing? Somebody's got to hold him here. And um, so the, it's collapsing, and bits of the... Um, the rock and stuff that are falling are getting through the blue barrier, and the wizard is getting hit, and he's clearly getting damaged. He gets a broken arm, and, and he gets knocked to the ground, and he's clearly unconscious uh, after a few seconds. Um, and he's, he's being crushed. But in the meantime... You Fine, I guess I'll leave. 
watching for this to happen. Um, so here's what we're going to do. You, both of you, while standing there and watching for this to happen, you will lose half of your hit points. And then if you want to try and get out, let's see if you can make it out. Because it's kind of out of control. You, now. you go first. You want me to roll first? Now, for the two that have made it out, you are outside as it starts to develop the sinkhole right underneath the treasury and the, the top level of all the broken building and everything. Those big stones and everything are falling into this hole that has uh, been created underneath. What do I need? What am I going for? What would you be using to get away? You're just trying to run success. Go for success. Out yeah. of rocks. Are you trying to find the you know the the watching ahead of you and find the best way out and really what we're looking for is what stat are you going to roll against yeah um i'm gonna do i'll do dexterity just get so you're just gonna try and, and run fast and weave past things that are falling that are obvious let's see if you make it i'm trying to think what i could do to help uriel don't worry about me I'm worried about you, man. I'm worried about you. Character's all about sacrifice. Yeah. Know, Himself. I, I yeah, totally. This, I'm causing this damage. Oh, yes, you are. Get out of here. And I, you. I want my people to yeah. be okay. You yeah. got survival. But I'm not your people. I mean, I'm not your people. You have become, yeah, my people. It's weird that the only person... Say like Mama Druid. Is yeah. Real. That's right. Yeah. Everyone else kind of knows who he is. <laughs> Do they? Yeah. I don't even know who I am. <laughs> Make roll, make roll go. This is like split second. Oh, she's super fast. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm out. All right, so <coughs> you're real. I'm going to grab the staff and use it to hold back any of the rocks falling and run out. Ooh, I'm oh, gonna give, I'm going to okay. give you a chance on this. So first off, um, I want to see if the staff has gotten broken. Okay. So I'm going to give you an even or odd shot. You pick odd or even, roll any die. Oh, any die? Anyone. Cause Anyone. Equal number of sides. All right, so I'll go odd. Okay. Except for the D17. It's an even number of staff. <laughs> Can I roll the prime number die? I'm going to roll a D1. <laughs> cool. I and I'll pick yeah, even. <laughs> uh, because of all the stuff. That was funny, Kurt. Oh, thanks. I like that. Oh, totally, yeah. yeah. So I was just going to give it a 50-50 could use, I uh, just think, thought about that, I could use the um, <laughs> dice I got in Vegas, the ones that are just printed bad, so you always get a 7 or 11, but one of the two dice is a 5, and the other die is either uh, 2s and 6s on it. So, one of them is only odd, and the other is only even. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I'd live or die, it yep. doesn't, yeah. that's constitution. Yep. Alright. <laughs> Screw it. 11. <laughs> so you do it. Try to stroll out slow, just getting hit. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so, like, I'd say him. He goes to reach for the staff, and it snaps as soon as he picks it up. The rock breaks it in his hand. Screw it! And then he just kind of yeah, walks just, out, like the right there. stuff. Slow just, walk. Yeah. The rocks are just bouncing off of him, catching fire as they hit him. That's, oh yeah. He's just pissed off at the world. It's like the end of a Fast and Furious movie. <laughs> I've, never seen, on the I've never seen any of this. Oh! The whole thing just sinks. Like, How can that be? I should probably have a day just like... <laughs> the, 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 the first one is... I've heard that couple of so good. Furious, sir. Yeah, Fast and One in five are the two to watch. Bigger, better, yes, sir. Sorry about your cathedral rocks. Sorry, guys. Sorry about your cathedral rocks. Just have to get an explanation team down there. Maybe Trillium can call down to them. Make sure they're okay. Yeah. Yeah. Rocks. yeah. And and looking down at the, <laughs> you know, rocks. the bottomless pit now, you also notice that <laughs> I got there's a rock. no snow falling either and the sky kinda clears up. It's still there's still snow. I mean outside of the circle, <laughs> the size of a village yeah, that got burnt. torched. The the, the uh, ground's a little muddy. Warm <laughs> mud. Yeah. No one yeah. ever walked in warm mud. That's like a mud bath? Good for your skin. <laughs> is there is there enough of Drummond to do speak with Dead with him? No. No. <laughs> Definitely not. There's just some beard hair. Uh, just barely. No. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't care what Turn it is. into a little sock puppet. Yeah, he, he's, he's pretty much past deceased. <laughs> he's toast. It's like a cloud. Looking around for the wolf. Oh, um, so you can communi communicate with Cloud anyway. Uh, and I guess what I'm thinking in my head is Cloud's still just missed kind of flying around, just having fun. 
Um, and, and Cloud says, oh, yeah, I'm right here. Poof, and there's a- I thought it was possible Joe was going to be like, oh, yeah, Cloud's dead. Sorry. <laughs> we all say, oh, Cloud. Oh. <laughs> Silly Cloud. <laughs> Tricks are for so kids. I want to hear some more about what do your characters do next in their lives? Where do they go from here? Because the world is going to be in a little bit. gets a big thing of that. Well, Halfling weed and hangs happens. out with her rocks. <laughs> she probably starts uh, growing it herself. Uh, she probably was already. Forget how to do blacksmithing? Is that what you said? Not only do you forget how, but you forget you ever even cared about it. So do I even remember that? I think you become a fashion designer. Mm, probably. I heard sequins are pretty big. Yeah. Purple. Probably, probably scarves. Now, I was really curious about this point um, because I had asked you guys to come up with what do you think your characters would do after the adventure is over, presuming you lived. Which you may or may not care about at this point, or you could have a whole new life. Yeah. And the interesting part is Food because card. of Uriel's backstory, he may have done those things two lives past as well. Yeah. <laughs> this may be his third time yeah. learning blacksmithing. <laughs> Damn it. Right. Well, if, oh, um, I mean, if we have this higher level of chaos because of our actions, you know, Oh Brent's yeah. He's kind of going to continue what he did, which is helping, like, basically protect towns and cities from monsters or animals and things that are coming to attack from the outside. But hopefully, also working with Trillium because he wants to learn some of these cool druid skills that she has, like being able to open chasms and collapse caves. Druids are badass. They create Trillium. bottomless abysses. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Trillium, her heart is heavy because. She has made connections with these people, mm-hmm. and she just put them in a potentially dangerous, life-threatening situation. She just so almost killed them. The yeah. Classic Trillium and running back into the forest. Um, she she's deciding to stay, and possibly help rebuild the cathedral. Um, possibly help Uriel. Understand that I mean, she could really motivate the rocks and make that process happen yeah. a lot faster than it might otherwise. That no matter what, there's balance. In Cathedral it. repairs, She's seven years? No way. Uh, we'll get that done in two. <laughs> the balance. <laughs> That's hysteria. Um, yeah. So her her heart lies with her friends. Oh. That's Trillium's. That's Kelly's good at thinking of stuff. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Claire may be doing that. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, being a paladin of Josie is his job. So he's going to go home. Can go back to work. Uh, like, he, there might be a little bit of a time where he'll help me try to get some of those stones back or even just fill the holes with stones that could have new stories written on them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, after that, he he goes home to Leesburg to his his yeah. wife and his daughters, and then like goes back out like now the next like, door duty like the <laughs> yeah. of chaos. He strolls in like, well, mm-hmm. would you like some pancakes, honey? <laughs> daddy, daddy, I got an A on my science test. <laughs> Like That's not sugar, yeah. <laughs> but I gotta go tomorrow. <laughs> like Bob Kraft and Bill Belichick said here, yeah. just gotta do my job. Uh, man. It's like Sam is in the Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Yeah. I can't envision Laramie on a beach vacation. Oh, over the next months into years, uh, one of the things that happens around the world, no matter where you guys are, you either experience or you hear stories of um, pretty much anything that was larger than. Um, what a hamlet maybe 20 or 30 people anything that was larger just descended into just utter anarchy and all of the big cities have fallen and it's just villages of people um pretty much as far as anybody knows so yeah so we left the world in kind of like great shape oh yeah no, i would agree that's a, it's a reset no yeah it's, finding you yourselves so in a world like that what might your character be doing five years down the road What's your five-year I wanted plan? Uriel to go uh, find out if there's any more. Wish I had said it that way. What's your five-year plan? Okay. So he could be traveling, looking for people yeah. like him. Yeah, straight up uh, kung fu, just traveling the planet, yeah. you know. Okay. What about Breton? Five years from the other guy's name, Kane. Everything has fallen down to I mean, the, the biggest government just, there is, you know, is the guy around. in charge of the village. Well, Probably I mean, be digging it. Or yeah, I was going to say, as a ranger, you know, and, and a naturalist, I mean, he's not, he likes the social aspects of towns and cities, but mm-hmm. he's not particularly enamored of the city structure at all. So that 
Yeah. It doesn't really bother him as long as it doesn't lead to kind of mass lawlessness and evil. And if it did, then yeah. that's something lawlessness, that he would be fighting Lawlessness, yes. Not necessarily evil. Right. But each town has its own set of rules. Right. Like your HOA. <laughs> they're not all the same, but there are similarities. Who runs Barter Town? <laughs> Those towns think they have their own rules, but only my rules matter. You're so weird, Kurt. <laughs> Five minutes down the road, Kingsbury uh, has trees growing out of buildings where they weren't before. Um, one of the only places still left um, running there is the gurgling goldfish. Uh, there are like five houses. Uh, I'm sure it's still there. Uh, the gurgling gold po uh, fish with the stripper pole in back. <laughs> Good job with your spelling. Is that right? Uh, I think so. Uh, yeah, it's like right um, like, for a while, he just continues to just be a paladin. Mm -hmm. And then, like, he goes home occasionally, sees his, his family, like, growing up. Got some pancakes? He, That's all you ever cook, it, Daddy! Like, the big towns aren't <laughs> safe, and Leesburg's sort of a small town, so he sort of retires to Leesburg and becomes mm -hmm. the mayor. The mayor. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And that makes sense, because it seems like he would want to be there where his family is, but also not be uh, a regular person. He still has to mm -hmm. do something important. Yeah, he right? keeps it safe. So yeah. it's, it still continues to be a small town by the coast, but he mm -hmm. he just sort of hangs out. Just sort of hangs out. The mayor just <laughs> sort of hangs out. <laughs> kind of like, uh, you guys know the Big Lebowski? Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> the Sam Elliott character. Yeah. He <laughs> just shows up. Oh, bar has become less reclusive than yeah. her normal self because of all the experiences. Um, she still lives in the forest, but uh, she has found that people have tried to escape the towns that are being, you know, that, that's, there's anarchy. And in my mind, stuff. Trillium is like half and Kelly and half this like awesome hippie chick that I did it in high school. <laughs> I went to like a really kind of, uh, I don't know what the word is, now the four, prep school. Yeah, those two and Brad Pitt and George Clooney are square dancing in your head right now. Yeah, so with the sex hawk. With the sex hawk. Yeah, 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 oh my that, god, the sex hawk episodes adventures. are yeah. an all-time highlight in my mind. Yeah. She enters the city For gaming. sometimes. Just the hawk orgy. <laughs> As <laughs> many Druid people friendly, in your commune out. as any any sex <laughs> hawk, yeah, of, uh, any surviving community. Okay. So now she doesn't tell them all the secrets of the forest. But. I think um, uh, Kelly's five-year plan was the last one. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> That's and then we just talk about <laughs> we review, which we I don't think need so. to listen to. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to confirm that, and then I'll stop it. <laughs> so yeah. So what do you? Um, let's take a couple minutes. What do you guys think of the? Yep. Yeah, there we go. So, let's take a couple minutes. What did we think of our <laughs> recap of the adventure? What, what do you think about listening to yourself? You, you, you don't listen to many of the podcasts, Kurt. I don't. Um, I used to at the beginning, but... Yeah. Um, uh, I mean... It's something, right? Yeah. It's, I mean, it's... Uh, you know, yeah. I don't feel the need to go back and listen to them again myself, but if I, um, and, you know, I'm, I'm, very, I'm actually very curious about people who listen to non-video live play podcasts like this. Yeah. Like, you know, I mean, I just, what the reaction is, if it's, you yeah. know, if it's background listening for them at work or if they're really into the story and following closely and, you know, some episodes are definitely more vibrant and exciting than others. And some mm -hmm. campaigns are, you know. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I have fun playing. That's all I can do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It would be interesting to hear if anybody uh, thought certain characters were going to go a certain way or if the story was going to go a certain way and it didn't. No. Yeah. Really surprised by anything. I know for me, the audio podcast part <clears throat> is actually both of the, the options that you gave. It was for me to start background listening at work. Um, it, like like we're sitting here right now with one earbud in, I, mm -hmm. I would do that at my desk at work. It started for me, actually, with um, audiobooks. And I was like, well, I found this. Um, I can't remember which one I first listened to, but I first listened to uh, may, may have been Critical Hit. Somebody recommended it. Um, I started listening to it, and I was like, you know, it's kind of better than an audio book as long as it's entertaining. So I, I stuck with that, and then I started paying attention to the stories, and it was a lot of fun. Then I decided I could probably do that. 
<laughs> Turns out there's a few hundred people that like to listen to yeah, us. Yeah. And here we are. And here we are. Here we are. And is on the internets is with video and stuff too. Uh, and the plan is still I'll keep a um, audio portion, so I'll cut the audio out of this and still release it as a regular audio podcast. <laughs> but we're, we're doing it live without any actual post editing now. Right, we'll yeah. see how that works out. All the mistakes will be there. Yeah. Now all the mistakes I are mean, normally there. Mistakes. We yeah. Don't yeah. <laughs> but um, you know, I, I want to make sure all the audio is good so that we don't have to readjust afterwards. I think that was one of the yeah. things. Whenever you know, before I was on the cast, like the audio was really good. Yeah. Because some and even like professional ones, like why is that so mm -hmm. horrible? You guys no. should have good equipment. You know, just, yeah, that was always like definitely the. Uh, one of the great things about it is like everything was really tight audio. Yeah, yeah if we could just get that annoying blonde guy to put his mic in the right place, it would be really <laughs> mm -hmm. tight. The newbie. <laughs> and after today, if anybody out there is watching these videos to, uh, from today's uh, recordings and, and streaming, if you think mm -hmm. that the audio is better with the headset microphones like we normally use, I can probably set that up for next time. I thought about it, but didn't do it because this sound actually came out pretty good. Now, the thing is, it does pick up all of the little things. One of the reasons we have this black pad on the table is so when we roll dice later, it won't be so loud. Um, this table is a regular plastic fold-out table, so it's a... That'll be really loud on the mic. Um, I, I couldn't eat my Tostitos with a hint of lime like I usually not do. Not to start, so. no. But um, that's something that we could probably set up for next time. I might actually have a couple of more camera angles next time instead of just the one camera with multiple angles. Yes, we'll have under the table shots next time. Yes, <laughs> yes we will. There's one we might right be wearing now. Pants we're not, yeah. Upskirts. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of not wearing pants. I'm wearing a <laughs> He's, He's not wearing pants. <laughs> Cthulhu don't need pants. <laughs> Fuck your Yankee blue jeans. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that would be something I think Cthulhu would say. <laughs> you Yankee blue jeans. Um, so we're going to get uh, get ready to wrap this one up. I thought it was a lot of fun, actually, to listen to ourselves and, and comment. Of course, we sidetracked a lot, but that's exactly yeah. what I expected right. to do. Um, so it worked out well. Yeah, Sidetrack a lot on the... And who knows, maybe in um, in the future we can go back and pick a couple of memorable episodes and do it again. Talk about... I would love stuff. to yeah. comment on sex yeah. talk. Sex talk? <laughs> I was thinking even as far back as some of the very first D&D &D starter set yeah. adventures, we could go back and comment on that. At that point, Chris wasn't on the podcast. Yeah, but I've heard... I yeah. want to say I've heard yeah. most of everything. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I know those are... Because of how long we've been around, over four years, um, those are some of the most listened to episodes because they've been around the longest as well. But that's something we could definitely definitely do um, if this is a hit and now we are on YouTube it's live um, and it's also going to be on YouTube after the live bit so make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe and like and all that stuff YouTube people say to do yeah uh, there, there's something about alerts and notifications yeah. on it. when I figure out the right verbiage to use there we'll put it up I'll probably even put something on the screen yeah. but if you're watching us on YouTube you know where to find that subscribe button and the like button and um, I think that's about where we can wrap this one up you guys ready all right all right, then we can all say bye. See you. Thanks for listening. The preceding podcast was brought to you by Julio. You can find us online at adventureshow.com. That wasn't me. That was another bald guy. You banned from YouTube. I know, man. They're banning all kinds of stuff. Getting crazy.